Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to another video and today we are riding the pinnacle of Honda Superbikes. That's right, this is the CBR 1000 Triple R SP. This is Honda's flagship model for the Superbikes. If you guys know anything about the Fireblades, you'll know that it's one of the most iconic 1000s ever made. And they paved the way for a lot of manufacturers that are currently making Superbikes now. This bike has quite a few upgrades compared to your normal CBR 1000, like the full electronic suspension and some other goodies we're gonna talk about. This bike is flashed. It's got the velocity stacks, the sprint air filter, and a slip-on aero exhaust. This bike is absolutely incredibly fast and I cannot wait to throw a leg over this. We're gonna do some wheelies. We're gonna see how fast she is. And uh, overall, we're just gonna have a good ride. Definitely excited for this, man. I've been on tons of CBR 1000s, including owning a few of them, but never rode the SP, man. What an absolute honor. Currently in Dallas still, and uh, if you guys are an avid YouTube watcher, which probably most of you guys are, you will probably know who Will Kid Hill is. So yeah, this is Will's bike. He just got it flashed from Brent Tuning, which is kind of funny. I literally just got my S1000 flashed from Brent Tuning. One more walk around, man. You can see a little bit of the rain right now. It's a little misty, but the roads are uh, somewhat dry for the most part, besides these little side roads. Absolutely gorgeous bike, man. I have a very sweet spot in my heart for Hondas. Alrighty, well we got some gas in her. Need to hop back on the highway. It's super wet over here. One of the nice things about the CBR 1000 Triple RSP is that it does come stock with a quick shifter. On the normal CBR 1000s, you have to buy an aftermarket quick shifter for them, which really makes no sense, man. It's a 1000cc bike. They should be coming with quick shifter straight out the box. You can definitely also tell, even with this being a stock quick shifter, it's definitely laggy compared to even a stock BMW S1000 quick shifter. Big shout out to the boy Will for letting me rent this bike. These triple R SPs are actually faster than S1000s when set up right. Alrighty, well, we got wheelie control, trash control, everything off. to do something like this but just not a thirty thousand dollar price tag i refuse to pay 30 g's for a honda man but holy this bike makes you want to oh man what a vibe 
Clouds are so good at night. Like, you know, most of them kind of tap out between the 13 to 14k range. This bike goes all the way to 15.5, man. grab some water take a quick break a little bit dirty out here on these dallas streets man as you can tell these roads are still wet but check out the sp under the street lights man all we see these at the dealership forever been wanting to get on the street on one of these things stash is super cool too it'll show your lean angles well as how many g's you're pulling pretty sweet if you do ask me but i mean for 30k honda better be doing everything they can but anyways you guys already seen the bike so enough talking Let's hop back on it. Alrighty. Let's get back on the road, man. So good. <laughs> What's crazy about this bike is it had 1,500 miles on it and it blew up. Man, and uh, we're doing it. 
Previously, this bike had 1,500 miles on it and it blew up. Will does ride this bike pretty hard, but uh, just as hard as I ride my S1000. He did get the motor replaced though, obviously. It's got about 2,500 miles on the new motor so far. What's funny is the uh, last time I was in Texas is about the time that he did replace the motor on the bike, so he said it's been running good. so nimble too it's so light and compact compared to all the other super bikes on the market especially like the zx10 it's just so big and chunky this one literally feels like a 600 the front brakes are so smooth on this bike yeah they definitely got a little bit of work to do on their quick shifter man that's really the only downside to this bike it's just a little bit laggy on the quick shifter and that's just me being super picky and me used to the smoothness of the s1000 shifters one thing's crazy about texas is these big old on and off ramps man you are literally in the sky on some of these
blast has been on this bike. I'm super happy that the rain held off long enough for us to go ride on this bike. Oh man, what a night. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> what an absolute success. One last thing I forgot to mention is look at how you turn this bike off. It's a little knob right over here and you just turn it and the bike turns off. $30,000 Honda, man, and you get the push start. Check this out. <laughs> That's what you pay in double the MSRP for. Hey, I'm not gonna lie though, the push start on the super bike, next level. I can't appreciate Honda for throwing that factor in. But anyways, we're gonna return the bike to the boy, Will. We're gonna clean it off real quick before we do that, since he did give me the honor of letting me ride his beautiful machine. I think this bike is phenomenally put together. Everything's good on it. I just hate the fact that Honda put a $30,000 price tag on this bike. I know they're around 26,000, but you know, out the door is around 30. Would I ever own this bike if I had the chance to? Absolutely. But anyways, man, absolutely enjoyed this bike. Big shout out to the boy, Will Kid Hill. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel or follow him on any of the social medias, I'll drop it all in the description or in the comments. I appreciate you again, Will. Thank you so much for letting me ride the bike. It is absolutely a blast and uh, can't wait till next time. I appreciate all you guys tuning into the video and watching if you guys did get this far. And if you guys are new to the channel, we do upload weekly, so consider subscribing. Appreciate you guys tuning into the video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.